Hi everybody, I'm Michael Goodman with Art Matcher, the mobile app connecting art lovers, artists, galleries, art fairs, and art events. While we continue to build a great experience, we'll be talking art with some of the industry's most interesting and knowledgeable people. Whether you're an art aficionado or this is all new to you, we'll be here to provide valuable insight and hilarious good stories. Hope you enjoy our chat today and check out Art Matcher in the Apple App Store and Google Play. All right, uh, this is Riley Clark, head of partnerships at Art Matcher. I'm here with Lisa Burgess from the New River Fine Art Gallery in Fort Lauderdale. Lisa, it's a pleasure to have you. Thanks, it's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, so first things first, I'd love to learn a bit more about you. Let's see, I've uh, been in South Florida for uh, well over 30 years, and I love the arts. Well, we're here talking about um, New River Fine Art, but I'd love to learn about your work with the Florida Council on Art and Culture, Arts and Culture. Can you tell me more about that, please? Sure. I've been on the, a member of the council for two years. Uh, I was appointed by the governor. The Florida Council on Arts and Culture uh, advises the Secretary of State uh, on all matters, arts and culture. We also... Um, advise on, uh, recommend grants for arts and culture, which encompasses everything from the performing arts, visual arts, museums of discovery and science, even zoos. Now, towards that end, can you tell us how Florida supports the art and vice versa, how the arts support Florida through job creation, tourism, education, and so on? This year, Florida certainly supported the arts. We got 100% of our grant requests funded, which was the first time in 13 years that that happened. So, um, you know, there was a lot of hard work from every member of the committee uh, and, and, the, um, and the, the people that work for the council itself. Um, everybody worked very, very hard and uh, lobbied the legislature. And, and we got 100% financing. So there are a lot of organizations that will get fund- funding from the state, which in turn is, I mean, it's tax dollars. You know, that's, that's where the money comes from is tax revenue. It comes from, uh, it, it comes from the taxes that we pay. It comes from uh, taxes that, that tourists pay. In turn, uh, the Florida arts and, arts and culture industry is a $4.68 billion economic activity per year. Uh, and it creates over 130,000 full-time jobs. Uh, the tri-county area is rapidly becoming an important art outpost. Uh, you know, it used to be New York was the hub of everything. Um, but ever since COVID, South Florida has become very, very important. Uh, we have a lot of auction houses, uh, big New York galleries, established uh, galleries down here. Um, and it's it's really helped South Florida thrive as, as far as the uh, fine art community goes. Absolutely. Love to hear it. Well, I'd love to learn more about your gallery, New River Fine Art in Fort Lauderdale. Can you tell us a little bit about that, please? We are celebrating our 25th year. We are kicking it off with Alex Katz in Good Company, which I hope we'll talk more about in a little bit. Um, but for 25 years, New River Fine Art has brought 20th century masters, uh, pop masters, post-war and contemporary masters to South Florida, uh, as well as showcased uh, emerging artists that we feel uh, have careers that are that are going places, and we try to help those artists uh, to develop their careers as well. Um, it's been an absolute joy and pleasure. They say, you know, do what you love, and you'll never have to work another day in your life. Well, uh, I work very hard on some days, but it is an absolute joy because I love what I do, and I'm very, very passionate about it. Yeah, that's that's very clear. I'm glad you mentioned the Alex Katz exhibition. So with Art Matcher, we're partnering up with you for the upcoming exhibition of Alex Katz. That's opening January 20th in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, please tell us more about the exhibition. And, you know, it's a special moment for Katz. I'd love to hear about the importance of his work today. Right. Well, we're thrilled that the exhibition lined up with Florida Art and Design Week um, because I hope that I hope it helps bring uh, an even bigger spotlight to 
to the week itself. Uh, Alex Katz is 95 years old, and he's he's had many moments in the sun, uh, but the Guggenheim in New York just opened his retrospective, so we're happy that this coincides with that as well. Um, and we have work from the 1970s all the way through to new work that he has just produced. Uh, it's amazing that at 95 years of age, uh, Katz is still producing such high quality work. Um, he, he has always been a painter, a sculptor, and a printmaker. Um, we debuted, uh, the flowers, his flowers portfolio last year at Art Miami, um, to resounding success. And we, uh, debuted the Sunrise Suite this year, uh, though the Sunrise Suite and the Flowers Portfolio will actually be part of the exhibition, uh, as well as uh, a host of other prints and paintings and drawings. We kick it off on January 20th, and I can't think of a better way to kick off our silver celebration. Well, you have to have some favorite pieces in the exhibition. I'd love to hear what your favorites are. Myself, personally, I do love these flower works, these flower portfolio. Actually, one of the favorites... <laughs> believe it or not, is a, is a painting that's not going to make the wall, um, just because it's it's huge. But if there's uh, somebody interested, I can talk to them privately about it. Uh, we uh, A surprise addition uh, that I did not know that we were going to get with, are the Coca-Cola Girls, because it's an older suite, um, and I thought they were long gone. But uh, the publisher... Uh, the, the gentleman that published the suite, who we work very closely with, um, decided to break one of his personal uh, collections out for us. So we'll have several pieces, uh, several Coca-Cola girls on the wall. And I just, you know, Alex Katz being an American artist, uh, being one of the top American artists alive and working today, um, and you know the and and Coca Cola being such an Ameri- uh, a piece of Americana, uh, he named it because he used the Coca Cola red in the suite, um, and so I just think that it it speaks to who Alex Katz is today. I love that. I love that, and it's so special when you get to um, work with an artist over time, develop that relationship, <laughs> see this really special stuff like that. Um, and this is all going up on January 20th, uh, the opening of Alex Katz and Good Company. It's also discoverable on the Artmatcher app. You can check it out there. Um, now, Lisa, what Artmatcher is doing as a, a technology partner for Fort Lauderdale Art Design Week, you know, we're pulling together different galleries, museums, arts institutions in the area to create a more integrated arts experience. Uh, can you speak to your role as a connector in the arts and New River's role as a uh, part of the network here in South Florida? Well, in addition to uh, my work with the Florida Council on Arts and Culture, which is statewide, um, locally, I'm a a member of uh, Funding Arts Broward. So we work to fund uh, local organizations who oftentimes don't have the wherewithal to uh, get funding on a state or national level. Uh, they're smaller organizations, and sometimes they're larger organizations as well. We 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 work with uh, the Broward Center for the Performing Arts, for example. Um, but th- that's really sort of a grassroots uh, effort, and and has funded over three million dollars in grants since its inception. And so I connect that way. The exhibitions that we have brought through the years um, have been, many of them have been museum quality. For example, we did a Pissarro family exhibition, uh, Camille Pissarro and his descendants, that was the first exhibition that the family curated outside of a museum, ever. And we brought it to New River in Fort Lauderdale and, and allowed people the opportunity to acquire and live with fine art. Um, the difference between New River as a gallery and and the museums in the area are that you can go to the museums and and see the work and see phenomenal work. Our local museums are wonderful, and I encourage everybody to go and see the the exhibitions that are that are on. Um, but you can acquire, you can collect the work that we show and take it home. Art is not just meant 
to live in museums or in galleries. It's meant to live in your homes. It's meant to enrich your lives. It's, it's meant to bring beauty and, and culture and perhaps a piece of history to your everyday life, you know? And, and so I encourage people to live with it. Building collections, uh, in, uh, educating people. We often have, uh, lectures and seminars surrounding exhibitions, uh, to teach people more about the artists where they can, they can learn more about it. And, uh, you know, that's, that's an opportunity for people to learn more and get more, more involved. The more people are involved and in collect art, the more that they are interested in arts and culture. And, you know, dealers have played an important part through history in building collections, uh, that oftentimes end up going to museums, for example, and being donated there. So it's, it's a very, very symbiotic relationship. Well, I love what you're saying about bringing art into people's everyday lives, into their lived experience. It's a part of them. It's a part of what they live and breathe. That's so special. So many folks see it as something that's, you know, out of reach or it's on the museum wall and it's not for them. But I love what you're doing to make art um, really close at heart. Uh, that's something that we're trying to do here at Art Matcher. And it's a real pleasure to be working with you. Thank you. Yeah. It, we did something uh, interesting. We put out a call for consignments for the Alex Katz exhibition, and uh, that proved very fruitful because uh, a, a gentleman approached me who had bought the editions of two two full editions that that were going to be uh, that are uh, that are now going to be featured in our exhibition. And these were editions that were published back in two thousand four, and they haven't seen the light of day in years. And so we're bringing something that was, you know, lost uh, back out into the open and giving people an opportunity to make it a part of their lives. That's really special. That's really special. Well, Lisa, thank you for your work. And everyone, please check out the Alex Katz exhibition at New River Fine Arts, January 20th. Um, you can check it out in the real space and you can check it out on the Art Matcher app. Lisa, thank you again. Thank you. Thank you so much for tuning into the Art Matcher podcast. We had an interesting discussion, a great time, and we hope you did too. Please tune in for next week's episode and like, share, and follow. For more information about the app, you can check out our website at artmatcher.com or look us up on social. Stay safe and be artful.